The appeal is always just going to boil down to great storytelling. The core product of Korean pop culture historically has really been television dramas. If you look at how it spread out throughout Asia first in the 90s, the film and TV industry distribution developed a lot differently. We did a lot of research into how Korean television would just distributed specifically in the American content distribution market. And it was by videotape uh, into these local grocery stores in the Korea towns of major cities that had a large Korean diaspora, including LA, New York, Chicago, Atlanta, but they were not subtitled, so you may not have known about them unless you shopped at these stores and you knew Korean. The launching of streaming platforms like YouTube and other ways of accessing content was really what helped boost both the Korean music industry and Korean TV drama industry. I would say that social media has been one of the driving influential factors in promoting it and really introducing uh, other people to Korean pop culture. <laughs> Parasite, this feature film directed by Hong Juno, was released in 2019 and a huge hit, sweeping all these awards. I think it hit me on a, I guess, a personal level, how big it had gotten because, uh, like, for example, I was at the gym and heard some people talking about it, how excited they were about it, and this was before they won Best Picture and how just amazing the, the movie was. People who aren't familiar with it are like, okay, well that was amazing. Like, what else can we watch? What's another Korean film that is like on that level, that caliber? I would think that the industry is, is pretty proud to being honored in so many different ways. Maybe it'll mean more investment in South Korean film. We've already seen it with the content coming from streaming platforms. Maybe that'll mean more producers and more content that did not get looked at or got turned away, we'll suddenly, okay, well, let's look at it again. Maybe more of those pitches will get greenlit into production. Hopefully, though, the future will be very bright for having Korean dramas more accessible here and on different streaming services. I'd like to think that.